This week we are going to be studying blood in AP120 lab. And blood is the first part of the cardiovascular system that we're studying. Long ago, you all learned that the cardiovascular system is one of the two main transportation systems in the human body. And in this transportation system, the heart is the energy source, the arteries and veins and capillaries, they're all the different roadways. And then the blood, it would be the cars and trucks that are carrying things around. And blood is made out of plasma, which we'll talk about in lecture, and cells. And the cells are either red blood cells, which are naturally red, or they are white blood cells that are clear if you don't apply a chemical stain to them so you can see them through the microscope red blood cells, white blood cells, and these little fragments of junk, they're not junk, they are platelets and they're really important. Now you've got a really good lab activity for you to be actually looking through a microscope at blood, counting cells as if you were working in a, a real clinical lab. It's a very good lab activity. Uh, before you do that though, I do have some advice on identifying uh, blood cells. The, the thing of uh, humans love vision and humans love colors. And so whenever people are describing how to identify white blood cells, they ask you to identify them by color. And they will say this one and this one, they both have got sky blue cytoplasm. This one has got purple cytoplasm and this one is very pink cytoplasm, right? And in this artist rendering, you probably could do that. But in real life, you can't. L let me show you. Okay. Oops. This is what they look like in real life. Now, this is sky blue cytoplasm. That is purple. That one's pink. Okay, pink, pink, I'll give it to you. But really, does the cytoplasm in this cell look that much different from the cytoplasm there or there? You know, honestly, the way to identify white blood cells is to start first with looking at the nucleus. If the, if the nucleus is very round to oval and it's obvious to see, you're probably looking at a lymphocyte. Once you see an oval to round nucleus, the second thing you look at is, is there a lot of nucleus and just a little bit of cytoplasm? Do you see that there? A lot of nucleus, just a little bit of cytoplasm. Look at this one here or this one here. Hardly any cytoplasm, mostly nucleus, definitely lymphocyte. The third thing that you will verify to know you're looking at a lymphocyte is it's about one and a half maybe to two and a half times the size of a red blood cell. Red blood cells are all of these guys. They are naturally red. They do not need to be stained. And red blood cells are all the same size in a healthy blood smear. So it's like having a little ruler right there in your microscope. So you definitely have a lymphocyte. You don't even, you don't even need to think about the color, right? Now, what if you see a nucleus and it kind of looks like, kind of looks like a swimming pool? By the way, this one kind of looks like a swimming pool also. Okay, if it looks like a swimming pool, it's probably a monocyte, but you need to look a little further. The second thing you'll look at is the cell's big. It's really big. How big? Well, let's look at this one right here. That's a monocyte. You could easily put five red blood cells inside of there, probably six. It's a really big cell. It also is not usually a round cell. Do you see how this cell's round and that one's pretty round? Okay, that one's being bumped into by that one, but they're pretty round. But these guys, the monocytes, <coughs> they have a tendency to have just like not really a round shape. You're dealing with a monocyte. Does it have a sky blue cytoplasm? Eh, maybe, I don't know, right? And then, <coughs> We have got the weird nucleus. We'll just call it weird. Do you see this right here? 
all of that. That's the nucleus. What the heck happened to the nucleus? It looks like someone took the nucleus and kind of squished it up and like wrinkled it all up. That is probably a neutrophil. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. How will you know for sure that it's a neutrophil? Well, if it's got that kind of a weird nucleus, if it's got that kind of a weird nucleus, it's either a neutrophil or it's an eosinophil. Eosinophils, technically their nucleus doesn't look just like that, but that's a subtlety. You will know because a, uh, an eosinophil has got definite pink granules in it, whereas a neutrophil, you kind of have to use your imagination to think that these little dots here in the uh, cytoplasm are granules. So I kind of think of the eosinophil and the, and the neutrophil as being kind of like two different kind of holiday cookies. And the neutrophil, you just scattered uh, purple sugar on it. Uh, but the eosinophil, you put like the little pink, uh, you know, the little pink granules of sugar that you decorate with. So you can definitely see them. And then this one is the basophil. And the basophil is, you know, those little like silvery ball kind of things that are really big that you put on cookies. Maybe I should go make some cookies. <laughs> that is what a basophil looks like. And a basophil is really obvious. You really can't see its nucleus at all. It's kind of hidden. And it has these dark purple, blue, definite spherical granules. All three of these have granules in them, but the granules in human neutrophils are very subtle. And if I told you, oh, this one's got granules, but that cell doesn't, you'd be like, what? And I wouldn't blame you, right? So there you go. You can look at color. I don't think you shouldn't look at color, but start with the nucleus, then the size of the cell, then the shape of the cell, and then the granules. Um, what is this one? That is a baby version of a neutrophil. They're often called bands or stabs. And this is not a swimming pool shaped nucleus. That is the step right before, that's the step where you, 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 you turn the nucleus into sausage right before you squish it all up. All right. So on next week's quiz, no, this is not right. I'm sorry. On next week's quiz, you will be having to identify um, white blood cells uh, on the images. So I'm expecting you to be able to identify them and recognize them, all right? The other thing you're doing is you're going to be looking at hematocrits. Hematocrit um, means what percentage every drop of blood is made out of cells. So a drop of blood was placed into this little tiny glass tube, put it in a centrifuge, spin it around really hard. All of the white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets go to the bottom. This little area right here called the buff, that's mostly white blood cells and platelets. And then you just have the liquid part of the blood up there. When you have got anemia, it would have, it would have more liquid and less cells, okay? So if you only had this much cells and you had more liquid, then you would have an anemia. Uh, a polycythemia is the opposite. A polycythemia is when you have too many red blood cells in a drop of blood. We'll talk about anemia in lecture. All right, we're gonna start here at the beginning of the next lab. I mean, in the next video, um, because we're going to be talking about blood typing.